Yes, my sports to the bone people. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. Uh, hope you guys are doing okay. Hope you have already recovered from that um, very horrible defeat to South Africa in the first test. I uh, still want to talk a little bit about it. So in this video, we're going to um, share with you guys a couple of things that Fazir Mohammed had to say as it relates to the team. We also see where um, over there in Guyana, the players, they are you know doing their thing in the inter-county tournament. We would have seen uh, Sinclair picking up some wickets. Uh, we would have seen the youngster Anderson getting a century. So, you know, continuing to push his, um, push his name in the mind of the Guyanese selectors. So we're going to talk about um, those things. Plus, we're going to take a look at Dr. Shallow, who is now, well, he would have confirmed that he's going to be running for president of CWI. So everybody wants a piece of the pie. Don't know which one of them is going to solve the, the, the problem of West Indies cricket, but everybody seems to want a little piece of the pie. So we're going to talk about it. Just make sure you listen to the end as usual. And if you have not yet subscribed, just go right ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, so Fazir Mohammed was on Sportsmax and I'm not even going to go through the entirety of the interview because all of what he's saying is the same thing that we have been saying over and over every time when West Indies play or basically every time that we play. You know, he's saying that it's nothing new in terms of, um, of us when it comes on to chasing. Generally speaking, when chasing, we, we, we don't, we don't um, assess the situation and play shots that are sensible. You understand? So he's saying that um, the batting lineup is still not clicking. Couple of players um, led from the front, people like Roach and Jermaine Blackwood in the second innings, you know, did some work from the front, but um, it was just not enough. It wasn't enough. And he's saying that it's hard to find any sort of positives coming out because every time we try and find um, find positives, the negatives continues to, rec to, to reoccur. So if we talk about the positives, we identify the negatives and say these are the things that we need to fix. Then the next game, next game, next series is the same thing. The same um, negatives keep reoccurring. So um, Fuzzy is saying it's difficult to continue to point out positives because you know the same, the same old, same old things are hap happening. Um, he even spoke about Jermaine Blackwood, saying that even though Blackwood was playing such an attacking innings. It was already written in the stars that we were not going to win that game based on how the other guys were, were, were falling apart. You understand? So when we have one or two guys putting um, runs on the board every now and again, you can't win test match like that. You know, you need you need your top order to consistently make runs. And be you know, Brathwaite and Tejner and Chandopal, they are our openers. Nobody's calling I, I personally don't not calling for, for any problems with them. You understand? I know people going to start say, see, see, he's not good, he's not good. Put in this man, put in that man. All because they want somebody from their country to play. These are the two guys that we are working with. Brathwaite is undroppable right now. Tejner and Shandopal has failed in a couple of test matches, but he has um he has what you would call merits in the bag. You understand? Merits in the bag for us to work with him. So, you know, hopefully the second test match he can come and he can um you know lift things up a little bit. Um yeah, uh, Fazir was also talking about uh the, the, the bowling lineup, you know, saying that there's not a lot of teeth to it. I mean, Roach did something special. Azar Joseph did something special. But in terms of pace bowling, consistently, quality, consistent, fast bowling, it's not there. It's very difficult to have a couple of good balls and then you drop off and then you understand. If you look at the top teams around the world, it is consistency that keep them up there. Every team will have a bad day, but when they consistently perform, you know, the, the, the more often they do it, you know, they, they, they get better and better at the things. So, um, so it's the same old, old story over and over, my viewers and subscribers, you know. Um, Fazir also spoke about the, so, the same sore point that we talk about almost every day. The players are not getting enough, prof um, enough um, preparation before going into test cricket. Um, the cricket that is played at this uh, regional level 
it is not quality it is not good enough the players are not um and even though the stand the standards are not high there's not a lot of quality players and the ones that are that that are outperforming you know the ones that are actually performing when they come to the to the to the test level they, they can't manage because they, they, even though they're dominating in the regional level yeah at the regional level the standard is not like the standard is high enough so you know that that kind of throw this whole thing off so just the same old same old um fuzz was talking about next thing that i want to share with you guys um dr shallow kishore shallow he has um, confirmed that he has ac accepted nomination to run for Westin for CWI presidency. So he's going to be running, and the the the, the election is going to be on the twenty fifth of March. You understand? They have their annual general meeting on the twenty fifth of March, twenty twenty three. So according to Shallow, he is. You know he was nominated and he's throwing his hat well he was nominated and he has accepted and is looking forward to help west indies cricket um you know thrive <laughs> he says that um in terms of the territories they would have shown confidence in him and um if you remember he served as vice president i think in 2019 and i think he was a part of the task force that came up with the criteria for west indies selection you understand when they put a document together um saying what the players need to to, to, to achieve in order to be selected and we still don't know about it i can't even talk anything too much about that because apparently that is a big secret you understand apparently um that 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 is a secret that that um that selection policy is a secret so i i can't ever give him credit for that because i don't know what is there so that is that is what he's saying my viewers and subscribers um let us see let us see how it goes you know so shallow is is going for a piece of the pie also so um elections coming up on the 25th of march um i'm not sure of the other candidates um they are the candidates uh probably i heard like bill Wilford Billy Heaven from Jamaica is in there. Not sure what he's going to do at that level, seeing that he did nothing at the JCA level. Um, well, not not. Let me not say he didn't do anything. It, you know, it wasn't as effective as how one would have expected. So, not sure what he's going to do there. Um, so that that is Billy Heaven. In terms of in terms of um, the inter county cricket that is being played over there in 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 guyana you know we see kevin sinclair continuing to make a noise showing the guyanese selectors that he is still um capable thinking one of, in 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 one of the games he took six for 43 um the other sinclair jonah sinclair i think he made 90 odd and um anderson you see one of the same guy that saw one was advocating for to be in the guyana harpy eagles team he got a century so you know, a um, couple of guys are um, doing their thing, my viewers, but, you know, it's always a problem when they reach to the next level. So just wanted to share some of that information with you guys. Going to leave it right there. Big up.